Previously on How I Met Your Leon. See you around, Leon. We'll catch up with him later. We got a we we got more more shopping for Luis to go do. I just can't be shopping. It's way too dark. Where's the really really bright like LED lighting over the aisles? Well, you know what they say, international super spy femme fatales be shopping. We uh we we decided to go beat the the rush and uh get there extremely early. No, we can't be one of those people knocking on the doors of the fucking Walmart at like 2 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember when it was safe to do that? Actually, never mind. It was never safe. I was about to say, when was that? All right. So uh, the way forward is uh, is blocked. We need to go get ourselves uh, one of those red lamps to uh, to open the door because we apparently just can't press the arm down. I guess. Or just weigh it down with anything else. I mean, if it worked logically, then it wouldn't be a Resident Evil puzzle. The gate and gong have the same symbol. Seems simple enough. Thank you for explaining uh, how this works, Ada, and saving me the trouble of doing that myself. You can tell she's been rehearsing her uh, AAA protagonist self monologuing lines. <laughs> I actually found out, uh, like earlier this week, that Ashley also explains how this works in in the uh, the main campaign if you uh, dawdle long enough. I hope she's like, Leon, do the obvious thing, you idiot, and... <laughs> she's not as condescending, but I genuinely never realized that she, uh, she had that tip. You really needed to save that bullet, huh? Yes, absolutely. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, time to go trigger the obvious Indiana Jones trap. Oh, is, is this the, uh, I think it was the, the Queen's Grail, or the equivalent? Yeah, the giant drill! Who comes up with these things? Yeah, so the, the giant drill is back! It is Although, no longer you know, man. This time, since it's, uh, it's updated, everything is slightly more futuristic, uh, it is no longer, uh, being piloted. Yeah, we, we can no longer disable it by shooting the pilot and co-pilot. Uh, instead, we, they've combined the drill with, like, that one puzzle with the spike ceiling where you gotta shoot things to uh open or like get the ceiling to stop I guess <laughs> yeah that is also a sequence which in chapter 4 one of the original you can skip by uh, in the GameCube version clipping uh, through the door to shoot the lock on the other side with the TMP and that explains why you didn't realize you could shoot the one the th two of the things on the ceiling before uh, even starting I yeah. guess Anyway, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I was, like, dumbfounded and really excited to see the stupid spike wall come back. <laughs> There's one other mechanic that was cut, uh, <laughs> which I was honestly much more excited about. I'm pretty sure somewhere in our Discord history uh, is me spending several posts freaking out about that particular thing, which I don't know when it'll show up, but in a couple of videos. Yeah. But yeah, interesting to see a Leon segment get uh, moved over to an Ada segment. And I really, really don't like hanging around suits of armor in this castle. Looks like something goes here. Yes, thank you for that, Ada. This looks like a puzzle interactable. I am the main <laughs> character. I really wish yep. Ada had some variant of the phrase, I can't use these things together. <laughs> I have borrowed this from Resident Evil Village. <laughs> I was going to say, this this looks like a Romanian uh, bottle of wine. Yeah, and I have seen bottles like that all the time at work. <laughs> uh, sanguinous something or other. I forgot what it was actually called. 
same. Yeah. Uh, it's it's been a while. I'm, yeah, but I'm that that specific design where like instead days. of a, a paper label, uh, it's it's like metal that's been uh, I don't know embedded into it. Anyway, yeah, put the uh, silver bottle on the uh, the stand and move on. I mean, even... It's clearly a dais. <laughs> yes, the dais. You can even take it off and lock the door behind you. Although, if I recall, the item that the, the thing dropped is real useful. It's a, I think it's a spinel. So I'm going to be coming back for that as the second I realize what that was. That Speaking is. of, it's also a dais that you placed the bottle on. Oh, is that how it's pronounced? At least in Canada it is. Then again, we also put our milk in bags, so should you really trust us? <laughs> <laughs> Adding unnecessary use to various words. Kalur. Maybe, maybe I should, uh, uh, to give chaos more work here, uh, show the, uh, the infamous flowchart on whether you use imperial or metric for measuring liquid uh, versus uh, mass, versus height, versus distance. Well, I mean, I measure myself in pounds, but I'm not sure why I would be on that flowchart. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the gold bottle, and then, uh... Wait for it. There it is. Oh, hey, it's a room that killed me a couple of times. Yikes. <laughs> Yeah, this this section's kind of hard. Just pop an herb real quick and get trapped behind the weapon rack. Oof. Oh, nice. You can parry those sword swings. It, it just seems like one of those things where the weapon is just too big. But... Nope. I mean, it does, but at the same time, like, we did find out a couple videos ago that you can parry, uh... El, the El Gigante uh, swings. So. That's true. Nothing is too big for Ada, I suppose. Now that's a line to take out of context. <laughs> oh, hello. We got some uh, cultists over there, too. I feel mm. like we're slowly turning Ada into Rouge the Bat. <laughs> if someone wants to draw fan art of that, go ahead. Oh, oh, look at you! Oh, that's actually really impressive. I haven't seen the uh, the, the grapple melee uh, take priority over destructible objects like that before. That's really cool. Hold up, that cartwheel kick hits behind you? I actually did not realize that it did. But yeah, uh, Ada's boots at fucking rules. Wait, that cartwheel kick rules. I had no idea it had a uh, backwards... Hurt box as well, jeez. Same! I know, for a while, thanks to complete coincidence, I was convinced that the, uh, uh, when grappling there's two different animations, and I was convinced that one of them was a tell that the enemy was going to, uh, sprout Las Plagas, and that was just because, by total coincidence, every enemy who I had finished with that animation just happened to, uh, sprout Plagas for, like, half the game. <laughs> Also, I, w I don't know if I saw that right. I think I feel like one of those cultists shot a crossbow into one of the plagas and like either knocked off its helmet or uh, or readied it for a melee from from me. That is definitely a change from the original, where enemies very famously did not uh, hurt each other at all and just clipped straight through each other's models. Yeah, we've seen a couple of instances of that not being the case in the remake. That's nice. Yeah. Shout out to that one, uh, Ganado from the very first episode of this LP who, uh, threw an axe at his buddy and then immediately got caught in a bear trap. Anyway, I think this is me realizing that, uh, there's a spinel upstairs and now having an, a complete end of Oh no, wait, no, no. I need the, uh, the, the silver wine to even get the spinel. See, this has a silver crest, so you need the silver one to open it. Yes, very obvious demo and definitely not a mistake. So are <laughs> these are these the bottles that you get for like placing first at the wine tasting Olympics? 
how does that how's that what, what's the rubric for that like is it, is it just how snobbly you could say mm, this is dry whoever tastes the most wine wins well i again as as someone who for for work purposes has gone through many wine tasting notes I am convinced that the uh, the most important talent that a sommelier needs, uh, even more than you know the ability to uh, to find different notes and the difference between top, bottom, and base notes, uh, is an English degree, so that they can uh, use the properly poetic language to describe their taste. I'll take your word for it. I mean, I'd believe it honestly. Anyway, the uh, the. The, the dais there has a really neat... The what now? Dais? I've Thank already you. forgotten how the fuck to pronounce the thing. <laughs> but I, I do kind of like this puzzle, just like having to uh, juggle which bottles on the, the pedestal to open the door and move on forward. Okay, here's an easy mnemonic. PC gamers place Deus Ex on a pedestal. And that's how you remember how to pronounce it. Hmm. I will All right. One ingredient I left. will attempt to keep that in mind. See, these are the kinds of things that happen when you're the son of an education consultant. <laughs> <laughs> Why not treat yourself, mate? Well, I forget, do the blue medallions ever get any I lore am. beyond the merchant being annoyed that they exist well in the remake? <laughs> I think that's about it. Like they're 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 kind of an eyesore to him, so they must they must be gone. I mean, they do get lower when you shoot them. It's just in more than one piece. <laughs> the pieces are spread around scenically. I guess it's more aesthetically pleasing to the merchant. There you are, as you wish. Dazzled, are you? Hope to see you. He's also a really big fan of typewriters. There's just something so, uh, so right about the sound of typewriters. Okay, Louise, that's two. Last one should be in a room accessible from the castle wall. You bring them all to the top of the wall, and I'll have your amber. Oh, and here's some more info I've recovered about that old rock. Sending it now. I want to say this area right here is around where uh, Leon and Ashley got separated. Luis, can you go one minute, a singular minute, without referencing Cervantes, please? I don't even think Luis made that reference. I think that was his, his uh, co-worker. Yeah, that was it's rubbing off. It's rubbing off on him. That's his stand. <laughs> He causes everyone around him to make Don Quixote references. You're not gonna get the fish? Yeah, the fish can live. Today. I mean, who gives a carp, really? I do. <laughs> Just don't make a halibut of it. Thank you, I'll be here all night. Don't forget to tip your waitress. All right, time for the courtyard. And uh, from my memory of the original, there is also a, a brief section where you have to uh, uh, retread through uh, the hedge maze. Yeah, the uh, the original uh, separate ways hedge maze is where you get the crossbow, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's unlocked on a first uh, on a first run through. Hmm. Did not know that. Anyway, I I like that the uh, the the red cultist uh, just took the um, the original version's uh, key in the, the the courtyard and just ran off with it. 
Yeah, that was pretty cute. <laughs> oh, there's Gonna a medallion over there. Okay, I couldn't see it. <laughs> oh, I guess I gave up on it. Oh, hey. Hello. That seems... <laughs> uh, congratulations on avoiding your one-hit kill. <laughs> Decisions were made. And more importantly, Ada still has her head. I think that's uh, the, the most important thing to come out of this. Ooh, oh, second time. So yeah, uh, we gotta we gotta deal with the the, the cultists turning into the, the spaghetti monsters here. While uh, we gotta go find the red one. Do you not have a flash grenade in your inventory? I Ooh. used the last one on the three the three Plagas knights in the, uh, the previous section. Ah, uh, okay. Armored spaghetti. Thank you very much. <laughs> Found him. Armored spaghetti is uh, my least favorite Metal Gear boss. <laughs> Oh, that one's not too bad. You just gotta gotta remember to bring the big fork with you. He is at least better than Coward Duck, who is a real <laughs> Metal Gear boss. <laughs> That's the one from Metal Gear 1, right? Yes. He just hides behind hostages, and you gotta use the, the remote missiles to shoot around him. Yeah, that is exactly the one. <laughs> okay, but what, what messed up philosophy does Armored Spaghetti have? Like, what's he shouting about during the fight? <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, it's about the flying spaghetti monster, obviously. Ah, so he's, he's very anti-religion. Yeah, he, he is a <laughs> proponent of all of the, of all the joke religions, like the flying spaghetti monster and the invisible pink unicorn. And, uh, I guess pastafarianism as well. Well, I mean, that, isn't that just what the spaghetti monster thing is? Pas yes, but I, I realized too late that I could have led with the pastafarianism joke. And mm. I was trying to, I was trying to do a saving throw. It didn't work. <laughs> I called it anyway. out. I ruined it. <laughs> See, that's the secret anyway. of comedy. When you fail to make a joke, you just keep failing, and then that makes it funnier. Anyway, I really like uh, having the grappling hook here in the uh, in the courtyard. It makes it feel a little more dynamic about like dealing with enemies and just finding ways through. Yeah, meanwhile, a, oh, sorry, yeah, meanwhile, I didn't want to risk missing anything, so once the fight was over, I combed the place on foot. <laughs> yeah, that's the place to do it. Yeah. Having replayed think... Uncharted 4 recently, uh, I, I, you could definitely add uh, excitement to any gunfight by giving the character a grappling hook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like taking the high ground is pretty pretty good here for in terms of staying safe. Oh, hey, there, there's the guy. I, you have a sniper rifle, do you not? I don't think I ever took it out of the item box after uh, uh, I put it away for the crossbow. I mean, you, you did have the crossbow, which, I mean, yes, there's there's bullet drop on the arrow, but... And still, travel time. You, you, could, you, could probably, you could probably make that shot. Uh, I saw, I saw a one tendril of a spaghetti in the right <laughs> corner of the screen there. I have priorities. <laughs> oh good, you didn't dock the bars. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, watching that back, I was suddenly very worried that I was going to hit the bars. <laughs> No, you hit the bars after recording. No. Finally. Glad that's but Ada, it's not over. There is still active spaghetti. <laughs> also, Ada, just be grateful that you found the blue the blue moonstone in one piece. Yeah, that's uh, true. Oh, there's a lot of spaghetti. Yeah, <laughs> your, your standard definition counterpart. Actually, no. Ada didn't have to deal with the Moonstone at all in separate ways. Never mind. You actually have it worse. <laughs> we have an active spaghetti situation, and she's saying it's over. <laughs> it's a spaghetti catastrophe. It's okay. The spaghetti doesn't like the bright lights. Oh, sorry. It's a postage situation. <laughs> Now 
now is a good time to go, uh, to go comb the place. Yeah. Yeah, given how str how weak the, uh, the Gnados and, and Zealots are to light, I'm, I get the feeling that Alan Wake would do very well in the Resident Evil 4 universe. Like, specifically this remote part of Spain. You know, as long as he doesn't write anything about it while he's there. I mean, even his writing was better than the original script of Resident Evil 4. Let's be fair, like, as, as much as, like, we love, like, such classic lines, like, no thanks, bro. We love uh, them that in bar... spite of them. Yeah, yeah, like, the bar for being a better script than the original Resident Evil 4 is very low. I can't remember, was there one or two fountains in this, uh, this maze? Uh, are you Looks talking like about this version? A... Uh, either version? version, honestly. I can only remember one. In the original. I also only remember one. Well, the actually, other... there there could have been. I think there could have been one on the uh, on the upper floor and one on the bottom. Okay, so in reality, I'm thinking just one because I kind of consider the maze to only be the bottom. Oh no, 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 no! Right, you're right, you're right. I'm dumb. No, yeah, there was an elevated. Okay, yeah, that was part of the maze. Uh, I think the uh, I think the ground floor fountain might be where the crossbow was in the original. From what I remember, again, I've, I've only played through separate ways like twice, maybe three times. I think it's just that once you get to the Heads Maze, that's when the, the merchant starts to sell the crossbow. Though I, I do remember that right next to the merchant, there are some crossbow bolts, which is supposed to be the game's way of telling you that there's a new weapon. I could have sworn it was... Ah, it's for whatever, it's not important. I mean, you could say whatever you want, and most people will believe you, because uh, <laughs> I, I doubt anyone has put much time into separate ways who wasn't trying to speedrun it. <laughs> Someone's going to hit up a Resident Evil wiki and go, Nah, oh, look, Woody Pooh, you idiot, you imbecile. <laughs> You who hey, does not if, think much. <laughs> if you're gonna call Liquidy Poo only an imbecile, you should really include all three of us. That sounds Fool, he who That's relies right. only on memory and not the memory of obsessive nerds who fill out wiki uh, pages. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been watching House recently and I got to an episode named Wilson. And on the fandom page for that episode, one of the bits of trivia is this name is, uh, sorry, this episode is named after the character of Wilson. <laughs> you don't say. Rude to stare, you know? I never would have guessed. So, what's become of so sad that it's basically the only thing sorry, you can focus on in the shot. Yet. But my little helper I guess is I guess I'll give you a pass. <laughs> but, comma, my little helper. Everything will work out just fine. <laughs> as long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. Keep your butt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. If that's if that voice is who I think it is. You really should check your dog for fleas great. sometime. I, one of these days, I would like to see an action game where they they keep using their pained like Leon. references sure like I that. Can. <laughs> like to the point where someone is really struggling to come up with a uh, a biting reply, and it's just like, don't worry. Have you never He's... listened to a monologue in any Metal Gear game? That's exactly what you're describing. <laughs> don't worry. He's on a leash. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about Devil's Third. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Oats are an important part of this balanced breakfast. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Perfectly timed. Hold on. That could have gone uh, a lot better. Oh. Uh, you should see the other zealot. Wait, that joke doesn't work. Never mind. I mean, she might be able to see another zealot, what with her head clipping through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it's one of the uh, the things they they train you in super spy school is how to uh, ignore the geometry and how to defy the laws of physics but it's only like the the upper echelons of the the super secret spies that get to use no clip Oh, oh, you hit a knife prompt! Yeah, that's... I, I think we've talked about that before, that there is a slight grace period uh, where you can just uh, stealth kill an enemy within, like, the half second or so uh, after they see there, you. There is, like, it, the, the knife prompt caught me off guard, too. I, like, I was not ready for it. I at least got a parry off, I guess, but... It did come at the cost of my knife. And bringing it back to Metal Gear, in Peace Walker, there is a, a similar grace period, but because that game was originally designed for the PSP, which only had one analog stick and the aiming controls were terrible, that grace period was like three whole seconds. <laughs> um, actually, the aiming was done with via face button on PSP. Wow, I can't or believe... Or with the D-pad, or with the analog stick, if you wanted to move with the face buttons. Peace Walker was very weird. I've never actually seen a control scheme with, for Peace Walker that was like, movement on face buttons and camera control on analog nub? No. Is that actually a, it, it is a, a valid control scheme? It is a thing in the PSP version. No. Nope. They took it out of the HD collection because, you know, second analog stick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, man, I'm still thinking about Armored Spaghetti as an MGS boss. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Armored Spaghetti will appear in Death Stranding 2. Who knows? We, we have time to petition, petition Kojima. He'll be very oh. confused, and I'm sure he'll uh, he'll reject our idea uh, in a polite and, and understanding way. Oh, but Armored Spaghetti could be, like, the leader of a new, like organization that wants to bring people together but hates religion because he believes religion tears people apart. That sounds pretty badass. Also, he's a really good delivery boy because he can hold one parcel in each of his tendrils. <laughs> <laughs> but can he hold them level? Can he deliver pizza for a character? Yeah, that's that's what we'll call him, a character. <laughs> he certainly is a character. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm being dodgy about that. It's not like it's not like that wasn't recently released or anything. This must be the collection room. And speaking of things that are actually old, Here's How the collection room. How could you room. say that about Ada? Wow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's okay, Ada. You don't look a day over 75. Oof. Hmm. Oh, I, I'm at 75. Um, shit, there's no way to, no. to save that joke without making her way too young. Oh, uh, my <laughs> God. Just forget I said anything. <laughs> quarters of it? No. Wait, maybe. No, the only way to save that joke would have been 75 months, which would have made her six years old. <laughs> well, I was just gonna say quarters of a year. <laughs> Cue the silence as everybody tries uh, to mentally divide 75 would still, by that 4. That would still make her a teenager, though. Oh! <laughs> hmm. I'm just gonna... Just gonna walk away and stare at the beetles? Yeah, let's talk about literally anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the puzzle here uh, is that we have to go figure out what the combination is based on the caretaker's route through the room. Blue butterfly. Just get ourselves that blue butterfly. I think the easy solution here would be to smash the glass. But yeah, it's beetle, jackal, uh, lizard, I think? Also, there's a challenge for doing that without looking at the... 
I don't know why, but there's a challenge for doing that without retracing his steps. I got everything you that need. Good. figures, I guess. Got exactly what you want. Ah. Oh, that's not good. The parasite is reacting to the amber. So that's the amber. That looks like something Wesker would want. Are Luis you allowed is, uh, to name drop Wesker? Like, it probably shouldn't matter, but like. Luis, Luis is hurriedly running off to prepare his magic show. Well, she, she also experienced a sudden, unexpected, like, pain. I, I feel like that could be a lapse in professionalism there. Fair it, enough. It's a Shakespearean aside where the character turns to the camera uh, or the uh, or the audience, as it may be. Uh, to uh, express their feelings in any given scene. Are you ready? But she didn't stare directly into the camera when she said it. <laughs> uh, that's because she messed up the blocking. She thought the camera was over there. <laughs> Just remember, it's not a cure. We still need to find a way to get that thing out of you. Turns out Ada needs the mouse bites to stay alive. Man, you really dig that gif. <laughs> it's so apropos of like every episode of that goddamn show. Uh, except for that one episode where uh, House uh, is recovering in a, in a mental institution and for some reason his bunkmate is Lin-Manuel Miranda doing an exaggerated parody of himself. I got another promise to keep. All right, but you come find me as soon as you're done here. And this was like five years before Hamilton, too. So he was parodying the guy who wrote In the Heights. Anyway, that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> well, you did I, do I that. thought that said beasts insect repellent at first. I was very <laughs> confused. Ethan could have used some beast repellent. He really could have. Remember to spray it on the fingers. Someone really ought to give Ethan a hand. <laughs> <laughs>